Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sore mahasiswa sekalian. Saya saat ini sedang melakukan uh, proses perkuliahan secara Zoom online. I know that it's a bit surprise for you to see me without having you in Zoom because uh, last Thursday we had a very bad weather. Situasi dan cuaca sangat uh, buruk waktu itu karena hujan badai kemudian uh, mempengaruhi proses perkuliahan kita secara online yang uh, sebenarnya pada waktu itu bisa laks kita laksana secara Zoom. Namun pertimbangan saya pribadi ada mahasiswa yang sulit uh, proses perkuliahannya seperti sinyal lemah, kemudian juga ada yang uh, kos-kosannya banjir. Nggak perlu saya sebutkan siapa ya. Nah, jadi kita harus berempati dan kondisi seperti uh, hal tersebut. So, um, this time I'm going to be talking about our uh, second meeting, meeting kedua, Mata Kuliah English Conversation. I'm going to share with you the PowerPoint. Okay, so this is the PowerPoint. All right, now as you can see, English Conversation 1, uh, Mata Kuliah uh, Percakapan Bahasa Inggris sehari-hari satu di semester ganjil 2021-2022 uh, with me, uh, Mr. Syahid, and Fakultas Ilmu Budaya Universitas Bung Hatta. I record this uh, learning material in Zoom for you so that you can uh, listen to this material again in sometimes next time, even before you will have the final examination or your midterm test in this English conversation one. All right, now uh, kita lihat kembali. Ini ada silabus, ya, saya ingatkan kembali. Kita belajar bahasa percakapan bahasa Inggris, uh, gabungan dari tiga jurusan, karena waktunya sama dan cukup uh, bisa dilakukan dengan baik. Uh, pada hari Kamis, jam 1 sampai jam 14.40 uh, siang. Pun karena cuaca buruk pada waktu itu, maka kita lakukan proses perkuliahan secara asinkronus. Nah, saat ini saya sedang menjelaskannya melalui uh, YouTube Premiere. If you have any question, uh, you can type your uh, question in the comment section. Labus kita, nah ini pertemuan ke-1, ke-2, ini membahas unit yang sama yaitu social communication. Nah, minggu yang lalu kita sudah membahas tentang subtopik Introduction and Greetings. Kemudian More About You. Yang ketiga adalah Congratulations. Dan yang keempat adalah Apologies. All right. Now, in this second meeting, I'm going to be talking about good and bad manners, helping each other, and expressing sympathy. Di video berikutnya, saya akan menjelaskan tentang Conversation Practice 1. Apa yang harus kalian lakukan untuk Assignment 1. Um, Meskipun di sini ditulis students create English conversation based on the topic, but I'm going to explain to you a little bit more of the first one. All right. Now, let me begin. Um, the next slide is that I'm still using the same book. You can download it on internet because it's I think it's uh, widely available. By unit one, social communication, at the introduction and greetings, more about you, congratulations, and apologies. We have discussed about this in our online classroom. Now I'm going to be talking about good and bad manners, helping each other, expressing sympathy, and a little bit of review of the unit one. Okay. All right. So um, this is the next slide. All right. Unit one. So good and bad manners. Uh, you see that there are four pictures in this uh, slide. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Now, what is the meaning of good and bad manners? That's the first question. Yeah. Jadi ketika saya nanti berkata apa itu good and bad manners, anda langsung ketik definisinya di sini as a way for you to respond for my question. Jadi silakan anda ketik di bagian komen apa itu good, good and bad manners sebagai cara untuk berinteraksi dengan saya, bagian komen. Although you type, but basically it is almost the same with uh, delivering your message. Okay? So, 
anyone, what does it mean with good and bad manners? I give you one minute. Please type your question. What is manners and good and bad manners? In one line, dalam satu kalimat, silakan tulis sebagian komentar. Okay, all right. You have got the answers. So the definition of the good and bad manners are related to your behavior or attitude of uh, people. Behavior is uh, perilaku atau tingkah laku. Okay, so good and bad manners relate to how people interact with each other in the daily life. The first picture shows what is this man doing? Look, so how many people are they? One, two, three, four, five. So each of them shows a certain habit, a certain manner. So manner is the behavior that you can directly see from someone in the daily life, right in front of you. That's manner. Manners are completely different from behavior or habit, even attitude. So manner and attitude are closely related, but manners are more personal, right? Now, the first one is you can see that these two people seem to grab the same food. Sepertinya dua orang ini sedang Um, mengambil makanan ya, ini berebut makanan, and that's not polite. It's not polite. And the second picture, you see that there are some people queuing in the ticketing uh, store or the place where people can buy a ticket to watch a movie. See this one now showing. So it it seems to me that this place is a place for Watching a movie. Tempat untuk menonton film seperti teater atau bioskop. Um, these people are queuing and look at the man who is sitting in this, uh, in this area. So he seems to be serving these people to sell the ticket for the movie. And one of the persons here, this, this uh, young woman, seem to cut the line over, okay? So she stands between these two people, woman and man, and seems to uh, in a hurry. What do you think? Menurut kalian bagaimana? Apakah seseorang yang tergesa-gesa tersebut bisa menjadi alasan dia memotong barisan? I don't think so. So this picture too, does it show good or bad manner? What do you think? You can write your response in the comment section. Now, the third picture is this. Okay, so there are two conditions. The first one is BNO elect. This is a truck um, container. Uh, two people try to carry a box from the truck and right next to it, you see there is a woman sitting in the vehicle driving as a driver and um, next to her there is a little baby who seems to be crying. Now which one is the bad or good manner in this picture according to you? Right, so there's crying. Now what I can think of is This woman seems to be is not patient, right? But these people are also completely wrong because they stop their truck container in a very in a wrong place. Look at this one. Look at this area. So the truck car seems to stop in the wrong place um, compared to the other uh, places where the car should be stopped and parked. Now, picture four shows this little, this girl uh, shows a certain attitude. Don't you think that she's listening to her music 
And this woman seems to be shouting, but she didn't listen because she closed her ears to listen to music. Jadi, dia menutup telinganya untuk mendengarkan musik keras-keras seperti ini. So, do you think this is a good manner or bad manner? Listening to music like this in the public? What do you think? Gimana menurut, menurut kalian? Yeah. Nah, jadi, this is not a good manner. In other words, this bad manner. Now, the next picture, or picture five, shows still a few people queuing. And this this shows that showtime at seven. While these people come late at seven past five, so they are already late. Do you think that the officers will allow them to watch the game or to watch the movie because they're really late? See, or maybe this is a sport even or something else that relates to show time. Jadi bisa jadi berkaitan dengan waktu show. It depends. Okay, so. Culturally, if you come late to an event or show, you need to be on time. Otherwise, the door will be closed for you. Atau paling tidak, pintunya akan ditutup. Ya, so, I harus um, come on time. Now, the last picture shows uh, a place where a teacher is explaining something in the whiteboard. She wrote something as you can see in the picture, but the audience who is exactly her students are talking. Look, so they are talking. They seem to be ignoring the teacher's explanation in front of the class. Do you think that is, is a good manner or a bad manner? Why? Why do you think that it is a good manner or it is a bad manner? Why? Go on with the next uh, learning material. I'm going to show you a list of vocabulary that you can use to explain these pictures. The first one is block, considerate, reconsideration, or cut in line, five delay, six disrupt, seven double park, eight get away with, nine impatient, ten impolite, 11, inconsiderate, 12, interrupt, 13, loud, 14, oblivious, 15, offer, 16, patient, um, 17, pay attention, 18, polite, 19, quiet, 20, share, 21, thank, 22, thanks, 23, thoughtful, 24, thoughtless. So these 24 words are important for you to use if you would like to explain each of these pictures. For example, you see picture one, which vocabulary that is closely related to this word? Which one? Mm. I think it's number nine, impassion. Impassion. So, uh, these two people are impassioned to take the food from the box, right? And it can also be impolite or inconsiderate. Mm. So picture number one refers to the words. So this is interesting for you to learn about the good and bad manners. Jadi penting bagi kita untuk belajar tentang um, perilaku baik dan buruk di setiap interaksi sehari-hari. Because we never can live alone. We need others to live with us. We need help and we want to be helped. All right. Now, the next one is this. According to Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary, manner is related to behavior. It says the usual way in which you behave towards other people or the way you behave on a particular occasion. It's uh, in a particular occasion. So it's very interesting that when we want to define what manner is. Go on to the next slide. We have helping each other. Do we need to help each other? Of course we do. If you'd like to be helped, 
then you should help others too. Probably they need your help even more. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six pictures about the th the top topic of helping each other. We have one until twenty four vocabulary. Um, boleh dicoba baca sendiri di 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 depan laptop silakan. Um, nanti kita akan ulang lagi pas di perkuliahan uh, zoom berikutnya. Number one, assist. Number two, assistance. Number three, can I help? Number four, correct change. Number five, could you change? Uh, six, could you please? Number seven, could you please help me? See, ada ada penekanan di situ. Could you please help me? You cannot say like this. Tak bisa bicara seperti ini. Could you please help me? Could you please help me? No, you cannot speak like that. Instead, you should say, Could you please help me? Or could you change a place? Or could you change a coin? See? Number eight, we have declined. Nine, gratitude. Number ten, hitchhike. Number eleven, hitchhiker. Number twelve, Industrious. Number 13, invitation. Number 14, invite. 15, lend or give a hand. Number 16, may I have? Blah, blah, blah. Number 17, may I help you? 18, need help? 19, please help me. 20, please pass the blah, blah, blah. 21, refuse a right. Number 22, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. 23, would you like? 24, would you mind? You can use this uh, list of words when you would like to say something that relate to helping each other. Assist, it means you want to help someone. Jadi Anda ingin membantu seseorang menggunakan kosa kata assist. And the question of, can I help? Like this picture, one, two, three, four, five. Picture five, this uh, young man said to the old man, can I help? So this boy offers a help, menawarkan sebuah bantu. And could correct change, this one, this is correct change, when the lecturer or professor changed the answer and then the answer is correct, they would say, correct change. Okay, or could you change a coin? Yeah. And then you get the change and you would say, oh, that's the correct change. Could you please now? So, jadi penting kata ini ya. Please, please. Dengan would, would, please. Would, could, could you please? And then, could you please help me? Nah, ini sangat sopan. Jadi, jangan, jangan bilang seperti ini. Help me. No, you cannot say that. Instead, you should say, could you help me, please? Uncomfortable. Refuse a right. Look at this picture. Picture number four. Refuse a right. Dia bertanya begini. Would you like a right? This one. Would you like a right? Or would you mind I give you a right? This man would say, I'm so, well, thank you. Unfortunately, I can walk. You are very nice. You can say that. Yeah. Jadi bisa untuk menolak secara halus, secara santai. Kalau uh, kamu mau saya beri tompangan, katanya dia ini kan berkata, oh terima kasih, tapi saya bisa jalan kok. Mau oh, baik sekali. So, when you refuse a right or refuse something, try to be as polite as possible when you refuse something. Because you want to respect the speaker and you also need to be respected for yourself as the listener of that speaker talking to you, All right? Now, this is about the helping each other. What about the next one? You can, you can remember all these words um, in the video later on. We have expressing sympathy. What does it mean with sympathy? Sympathy simply means that you show care to another person. Ada menunjukkan rasa peduli pada orang lain. That is the sympathy. You care and then you want to give attention 
a certain tension in order to help or support or maybe give a certain type of encouragement for someone to uh, to live their life in such a pleasant way we have one two three four five pictures in this display mm, the first picture what can you see in this picture yes that's this is a funeral um funeral when a member of family passed away I think that uh, I, I'm not talking about the religion or the faith, but most most Western people uh, seems to uh, bury their member of family in this way with this um, box, <laughs> with this <laughs> with this uh, dead body container, or something like that, and then they will mereka akan menguburkannya kotak peti mayat seperti ini, ya. So it's 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 a case by case situation. The second picture shows a certain condition where um, this is a backfire. Okay, now this this situation is so bad when you want to go back home and then you see your house is under fire. That is completely bad. It's a very bad situation. Um, picture three shows. A mess in the room. <laughs> so this, um, this husband and wife. Yeah, we we suppose kita anggap saja ni uh, suami istri, husband and wife come back home after they work, and they found out that their house is in such a mess. It seems that this room was robbed, or a thief got inside, and the thief tried to uh, steal an important thing. Picture four, this meant what happened? What can you tell about this picture? So this picture shows uh, that this man is trying to park his car, but then when he finishes work, dia selesai kerja lalu balik lagi ke parkir dan menemukan mobilnya ternyata nggak ada. Mana mobilnya? Ini warnanya beda loh sama ini. Ya. Ternyata ada tulisan reserved. Jadi kalau di barat itu ya, apalagi kalau di Amerika, ada sistem parking, kalau parkirnya sudah reserved, you cannot park there. You need to find another place to park. Temukan tempat lain untuk parkir. Kalau enggak nanti akan uh, berbut. Last picture, these two women seem to have conversation. Nah, ini bahasa tubuhnya sepertinya di kantin ini ya. Nah, di kantin lagi minum makan uh, soup, or uh, tea, I think it's tea, yeah? and um, they're having conversation. Look at this list of vocabulary. We have burglarize, this one, burglarize, burglarize, burglary, burglarize, this is burglarize, burglary, car theft, comfort. So you can repeat after me, comfort, condolences, and condolences. Condolences, so it's condolences, console, crisis, death, extent, sympathy, funeral, graveside, grief, in mourning, in time of need, loss, mourn, saddened, sadness, sorrow, state of shock, stolen, sympathize, unhappy, upset. Nah, jadi ini daftar daftar kata yang bisa kalian gunakan untuk mengekspresikan sympathy. For example, I extend my sympathy for your loss. Okay, you can say like that, or you can say, I would, I would, uh, I would sympathize for your loss. So loss here means hilang. Ya, jadi bayangkan kalau ada orang kehilangan ini, kehilangan sesuatu mungkin yang berharga begitu ya. You can say, I sympathize for your loss. Yeah. Or you can say condolences. Ini semacam ucapan-ucapan kita uh, ikut merasakan berduka cita. Condolences. So you can say, I would state my expression of condolences to the family who has lost the member of the family. Bisa mengatakan seperti itu ya. 
Nah, sementara kalau mourn, mourn or in mourning, ini maksudnya sedang um, sedang uh, sedih. For example, you meet a friend of yours today and then next week you hear a bad news about your friend that your friend has already passed away. Then your friend's family, uh, keluarga temanmu pasti uh, merasakan uh, kesedihan yang uh, mendalam. Yeah? So that is the meaning of uh, mourn, in mourning, lagi Uh, bersedih. That's 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 what it means. Okay, and we have sadden, sadness, sorrow, state of shock, stolen, sympathize. So this is stolen. It relates to picture three. Ini berhubungan dengan gambar ketiga. Picture three. Stolen. Maybe this woman said, "Oh no, something has been stolen." Hmm. You can say like that. Uh, jadi nanti kalau kalian bikin tugas assignment, ekspresi seperti itu. Oh, that's completely bad. Or, oh no, that's that's too bad. So, you try. Jadi, make it fun. What what menyenangkan ya conversation yang be make it natural. Okay, it's like that I show you just now. Okay, so the next one we have cover up important materials for unit one. The unit pertama yang penting. Jadi ada beberapa expression sympathy, good and bad manners and several other important subtopic that I have explained to you just now. Nah, sekarang kita lihat dialogues for everyday use. Ini yang uh, tidak kita dapatkan ya minggu kemarin. Ini baru saya dap- uh, dapatkan materinya from Dean Curry, it's the editor. Dialogues for everyday use, short situational dialogues for students of English as a foreign language. Jadi ada beberapa contoh uh, dialog situational untuk belajar yang uh, belajar bahasa Inggris sebagai bahasa asing. That is completely you. What about the identity of the book? I took it from United States Department of State Office of English Language Program. Nah, ini materinya dari US Department of State Office of English Language Programs. And uh, it, bukunya ini ditulis oleh Julia M. Dobson dengan editor Dean Curry, serta language notes by Anne Cowell Newton. Um, all right, now let's see. Dialogue one. Formal greetings and farewells. So formal greetings, ini untuk kondisi formal. Contoh begini. Uh, Paul, hello, how are you? And Don said, fine, thank you. How are you? And Paul answers, fine, thanks. The sound effect, jadi lewat uh, bunyi bus, ya, bus. Uh, fair, jadi mau, mau uh, berjumpa lagi nih. Oh, excuse me, here is my bus, goodbye. Goodbye, Don said. So, uh, ini contoh dari formal greeting, jadi ini greeting. Hello, how are you? Uh, this is formal, okay. Nah, jadi ada formal dan ada informal. Ini informal greetings and farewell. Sebab contohnya, uh, Dick said, Hi, how are you? Hi, you can say hi. Instead of hello or hi. So hello is formal, hi is informal. Uh, Helen said, fine, thanks. And you? Beda ya. How are you dengan and you? Beda. Dick said, it's fine. Where are you going? Uh, just fine. It means you can, you should say just fine. Or just fine. See, uh, beda ekspresi wajah dengan intonasinya ya. So you should say um, uh, dengan terus kalau dalam bahasa Jepang seperti ini uh, kata kai dengan kata kai very different. Okay. So where are you going? Dengan um, Helen said to the library. Uh, Dick said, Okay, I'll see you later. So long. Helen said, so long, so long. So this is informal between two friends. Ini enggak apa-apa kalau kita sudah berteman dengan uh, American. Ini kan dari US Department of State. Nah, kalau ada berteman dengan orang Amerika, you can express like this. Okay? So, hi, how are you? You can say, fine, thanks. Uh, fine, thank you. Thank you dengan thanks berbeda. 
you can say thank you for formal situation but thanks when you mean informal means informal means in a friendly way or um an easy way easy condition so formal needs to be a little bit okay this is formal you know everyone is just is encouraged to speak or formally well grammatically correct all right no i'm just joking but that's that's the reality that is the next one we have dialogue three this is about formal introduction okay um nanti kita akan coba bacanya bareng-bareng di kelas ya minggu depan um meeting uh meeting for formal introduction margaret mr wilson i'd like you to meet dr edward smith How do you do, Dr. Smith? How do you do? Yeah. Dr. Smith is an economist who just finished writing a book on international trade. Oh, that's my field too. I work for the United Nations in the development program by any chance? Yes. How did you guess? I've read your articles on technical assistance. You're excellent. But this is formal introduction. When you introduce someone and that is so informal, formal situation. Jadi disebut ada Mister, kemudian ada Doctor, Doctor Edward Smith. Ini gelar doktor ini sangat dihargai ya. Doctor Smith, Doctor Smith dan Economist. Jadi sana ekonomi. Ini artinya pakar di bidang ilmu ekonomi. So Doctor Smith. Gelarnya disebut Doctor. Jadi dia kerja di United Nations di bagian program pengembangan. What about informal? See this one. Sound of background conversation. Ini berarti anggap suasananya lagi berisik nih, di sebuah ruangan. Uh, Jim and Charles. Who is the tall girl next to Barbara? Oh, that's Mary Anderson. Didn't you meet her at Steve's party? No, I wasn't at Steve's party. Oh, then let me introduce you to her now. Mary, this is my cousin Jim. Hi, Jim. I'm glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. Can we sit down somewhere and talk? Sure, let's sit over there. So, ini introduction secara informal. Bisa Anda gunakan. Jadi tidak terlalu kaku menggunakan doctor, mister, or miss, United Nations, nerd, for example, like this one. Who's the tall girl next to Barbara? You should say, who is? So, jadi Jim berkata, who's? Who's the tall girl? Yeah, Who's the tall girl? Instead, seharusnya dia berkata, who is the tall girl? Uh, Charles said, that's Mary Anderson. Seharusnya, that is Mary Anderson. Lebih bagus lagi, the tall girl next to Barbara is Mary Anderson. Jadi, bahasa komunikasi secara lisan dengan bahasa secara tertulis berbeda ya. So, spoken English for conversation is different from English for writing. Yang ini informal. Yeah, formal. Then informal. See, if I'm talking to you, for example, uh, Jim, can you come over? Apakah itu saya formal atau informal? It depends on the situation. Okay. All right. Now, we move on to the next one. This is about time. Waktu. Uh, Margaret and Tony have conversation. Margaret said, what time is it? Quarter to five. Aren't we supposed to be at Jim's house by five o'clock? Five or five thirty, he said. It didn't make any difference. Then maybe we could pick up your suit up at the cleaners. Sure, we have plenty of time. Now this means that Tony and Margaret are having conversation, um, saying that at the time, um, Margaret bilang, uh, "What time is it? Sekarang jam berapa?" Tony bilang, "Oh, ini quarter to five. Berarti empat puluh empat lima." Kemudian, um, aren't we supposed to be at Jim's house? Uh, aren't we supposed to be? Maksudnya, uh, bukankah kita harus berada di rumah Jim pada saat jam 5 tepat? Tony bilang, 5 atau 5.30. Hmm, dia bilang, enggak masalah. It didn't make any difference. Enggak masalah. Then maybe, nah, mungkin kita bisa ambil uh, pick your suit up at the cleaner. Suit up ini maksudnya just. Di cleaner. Jadi sebelum mencara ada yang ambil jas yang dicuci atau dibersihkan. Oh baik, kita masih punya banyak waktu. This is about time. So time is very important when you want to have conversation with English native speakers. You need to remember because that is the culture of to be on time. And the other example of dialogue is a telephone call. Remember, this is the phone rings. 
Hello, Barbara said. Hello, uh, Fred answers. Hello, may I speak to Alice Weaver, please? Just a minute. Alice, it's for you. Alice uh, took up the phone and got up for you. Hello, uh, Fred says. Hi, Alice, this is Fred. Would you like to go to a movie tonight? Thanks, I'd love to. I haven't been to a movie for a long time. Good, I'll pick you up around 7.30 then. The movie started at 8. Fine, I'll be ready. Phone clicks down. Click. Nah. Jadi tidak ada ngobrol panjang-panjang lama-lama di telepon, nggak ada ya. Ngurumpi di telepon itu nggak ada. So it's just completely different culture, I would say. Um, waktu saya studi di sana juga saya jarang ketemu orang Amerika yang telepon lama-lama. Kali, that is with a video call. It's very personal, okay? And this is telephone call and about time. All right, I hope that you could get the meaning of this example, contoh dialog, formal, informal greetings and farewells, how to say goodbye, and then how to say, okay, so long in informal situation. You can see that we have formal introductions and informal introductions, as well as the way we should say something when we want to ask about time and a telephone call. Okay, so that's our material for today. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, for you just to listen to this material. Saya tidak menghabiskan waktu lama-lama untuk kalian yang cukup 30-40 menit uh, sebagai waktu dari pengganti kelas uh, yang online di Zoom. Ini secara asinkronus, selebihnya you can respond to my question. Silakan di uh, jawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan saya tadi selama saya menjelaskan di bagian komentar. And don't forget to write your name in the uh, comment section. Tulis namanya sebagai bukti bahwa memang kalian telah mendengarkan penjelasan ini. Bagi yang mendengarkan, I really appreciate you. Bagi yang hanya sekedar klik misi absen, berarti you lie to yourself. Anda membohongi diri sendiri. Okay, so next next week, we're going to talk about this is meeting four, meeting keempat, unit two, personal life. Uh, we will cover about daily life, favorite foods, personality characteristics, friends, childhood memories, cultural identity, life story, future plans, hopes and dreams, learning styles, and then review. So be ready. We're going to have the online Zoom. I hope that there is nothing going to be happening during the time so that we can have online class. Okay. Oh, untuk penjelasan tentang assignment 1, I'm going to explain to you in the next video. I'm going to share you the link to the video so that you can listen to that. Okay, all right. So, thank you very much for listening to me. Have a good time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye bye.